2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Please, you can join us for this final round action. G'day everyone, Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer, as they begin their round, what do you think of their chances? Right now, he has not got the victory secured, but a good final round here could see him into the winner's circle. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. That one's right out of the top drawer. And let's see what he can do here today. Oh. Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? Yeah, this is sitting up nicely. It's not going to cause any troubles. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Needs this one to kick right. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two-putt for par would be just fine. Right by the hole. And that should secure the par on this one. So it'll be a par to start their round. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. He's currently sitting in fourth place. Here we are at the second tee. Oh, that was flushed. Oh. A little off the mark on that approach shot. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Three feet to go here to the hole. That one goes down for bogey. He finds himself in a share of fourth. We have a par four on this one. 
There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course. Luke, this could be number one. Water down the left-hand side, you obviously want no part of, but if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player, moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or putt it in the water. And that one's headed to the drink. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He is right on the 150 yard marker here. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Feeling strong, going for less club. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Well, this would be a great power putt if you can make this. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Putting for bogey. And the putt drops, but that's back-to-back -back bogeys now. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Sitting at five over for the event. Teeing off here at the fourth. Yes, Luke, you got out of bounds on the right-hand side that shouldn't come into play for the players, but those bunkers down the left-hand side certainly will. If you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway, the second shot uphill to this par five, you can reach, but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. Oh, that was pure. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. Didn't that look good for a long time? What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Trailing by four strokes. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. And he's down there. I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Looks to have opted for the eight iron.
Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And this putt to move into a tie for third. Steady on. Putting for a par here. That was a sensational approach, Rich, but it, you've got to feel like an opportunity was lost. Some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard. Here we are at the sixth hole. Well, that's a handy shot. They're thinking of going for this one, guys. Gotta be aggressive. Love this play out here. Yeah, it's heading to the bunker for sure. From the sand, are they able to get up and down? This would be a great up and down from this spot. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Great touch. An opportunity to make their par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Now four back after that hole. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good six five iron from 195 yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. Going with the five iron here. Oh, this would be handy if it could bounce right. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Yeah. Top effort, that. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. He currently shares fourth position. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera is pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that bunker. So make sure to take one less club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. Mm. 
Nicely done. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one's headed towards the rough. That ball looked a little thirsty. Playing their fourth shot. Currently four shots off the pace. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? This one's 13 feet from the cup. Ah, that's frustrating. A double bogey putt in front of them. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Oh, well played. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 185 yards. Looks to be going with the five iron. Just needs this one to kick right. Oh, that's well played. And a chance for birdie here at the ninth. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. A tie for fourth place if you can hold this putt. That was a gallant attempt. Just three feet to the cup. Nice little par putt here. Oh, Rich, is there anything more disappointing setting up what you think is a makeable birdie putt, but unfortunately not able to convert? And as we step on to the 10th tee, Rich, always good to look back at the nine holes just played. Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. That one's heading down Broadway. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. Going with the pitching wedge here. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. And he's down there. You got a read? Yeah, he's 13 feet out. Unlucky for some. This is a good chance. It was on a good line.
Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. Looks good. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Now five strokes behind. We've arrived at a par four hole. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. From around 120 yards here, five shots off the lead. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. Ouch, that hurts. Three feet to go here to the hole. And as they leave that hole, Rich, you'd imagine a little bit frustrated after such a great shot in. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Now, yeah, great rhythm on that swing. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. A big opportunity with the eagle putt. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. This part of about seven feet to the hole. Oh, so close. Putting for par. The only good thing about three putting for par is you don't drop a shot.
and just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. From around 140 yards here, five strokes behind our leader. Choosing the nine iron here. Should find the green here. Well, got some sort of streak going on here. Greens in regulation. What a statistic. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens in regulation, spot on all day. Awesome. Oh, just missed. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. This is what they have left for par here. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers. But if you bail out to the right, well, now you're running into a low area that you have a pretty difficult chip shot to a green that historically is the firmest and fastest on this golf course. Uh, it's a little wayward. This would be a great up and down. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the pace. close was that to going down well you like the look of those hands judging it beautifully you know Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PJ tour and after that performance they'll stay right where they are in the standings a long par four this hole strong par four your dog legs from left to right don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Just in case Lexi thought that she was going to dominate the match today in this rivalry, he's come out and put that down, laid that gauntlet down, and now I think things will get interesting. Always well, nice to have a birdie putt. Okay, steady now. Just a short putt remaining here. In the end, that will be a disappointing par after such a great approach shot. 
managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. That's a bit out of shape. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? A little bit of breeze ruffling the old hair and it's coming straight on. And choosing the eight iron here. Good option, take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. Henny's down there. Yeah, this breeze just starting to get up now on the course and it's directly into the face. Yeah, that was great wind management there. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this part 10 feet from the cup. And that putt will end up short. That will drive you bats. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. That's a disappointing par in the end after such a terrific shot in. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We find ourselves on a par three here. This hole causes more stress for the players, I think, than any other hole on the golf course, with possibly the exception of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find as it is so firm historically through the years. You find the green, you make your three, and you're smiling earlobe to earlobe. That one's headed left. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Oh, almost went in. This putt from around 18 feet. Mm, just hammered that through the line. Bogey putt coming up here. I like the look of this. He's currently tied for sixth. And moving down the leaderboard as well. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18th. It does. This is actually a semi-blind tee shot. There's a mound down the right-hand side of the fairway where you can't see the golf balls land, so players won't know whether they found the fairway or missed it right or even out on the left-hand side. Most iconic moments in all of golf, in my mind's eye, Robert Gomez holding his second shot here back in 1990 to claim the title. Yeah, that one will play. And what are we looking at here, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Wow, that one was a fairway splitter.
That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. Make this putt and you'll have a final score of 77. Was that a bit of a miss strike? Wanted to get it up to the hole, but was just unable to up that slope. This is a par putt. And that will do it. His work is done here. And Henning, here we were at the start of this rivalry, doubting they even had the capabilities to take them on let alone whop them like that. Luke, that was really incredible stuff. It was a pleasure to walk the fairways and watch that performance, that dominant performance. As you said, we didn't expect a victory, let alone a victory like that. Well, that's all we've got time for today. On behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Bean, Henny Koyak and John McCarthy, plus all the hardworking folks behind the action at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.